What's going on everyone? How are we doing? So as you can tell, I no longer sound like Guo Hai. Like, death is not on my doorstep no more. There's a slight distortion in my voice still, but yeah, I'm better. I feel good, you know, I feel ready to just complete this playthrough. We've got two chapters left. Uh, last episode, we took out Guan Yu at Jing. This episode, chapter 10, The Road Ahead for Rulers. I just want to get this playthrough over and done with because um, in this video, by the way, the Platinum Trophy is going to unlock. I've been playing offline with other characters, but I haven't like touched Sun Chuan. I've just, I've just left him. I did use him in free mode on some previous battles. That's why he's, uh, let me show you, as you can see, level 99. I purposely left it like that. It's been left like that for like two, three days because I wanted to get the Platinum Trophy on camera and archive it. Um, yeah, I need to change those items as well. All those items there uh, are pretty much for getting XP. So... I don't really need this anymore. Um, let's let's go for uh, what should we go for, man? I I don't even know what difficulty it's on. I think it's on normal still. But anyways, restore plus three mu sort every one second. Um, attract nearby items because I can't go to go pick them up. Uh, what else should we put on? Strength 150. And where else is it? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Resist enemy attacks while attacking. Yeah, that one to do as well. Um, Chestnut, like a team training in the chestnut. I've been training up other horses as well offline. I had a nice little gap. Hold on. Dialogue, dialogue, people. Right, so, as I was saying, I had like a nice little gap between the last episode's recording and this one. It's been about maybe three or four days, I think. Three days, I think. Three days. But yeah, in that time, that was enough time for me to like extensively test out a ton of characters, see a couple of endings. Um, yeah, I've got a few things to say this time around as well, uh, but let me just uh, change my horse. I can't be able to train this chestnut up, so let's train up. I might as well train up the mahogany, because I've done the maple and the birch, as you can see. Um, yeah, the birch has got some, some decent speed on it, but let's, let's just go with mahogany. Alright, so first things first, let's head off to this question mark mission. I have no idea what it is, but let's do this. Okay, so the things I have to say in relation to Dinosaurus 9, it's nothing too critical, don't worry about that. It's just um, the general like structure of the story, I've noticed something. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's nice, but at the same time, it's kind of disheartening. And what the hell was that? I swear they just appeared out of nowhere. Anyways, um, so what I have to say, where's my horse? Right, so what I have to say is if you complete the story, let's say you start off with uh, Sun Chuan, um, or Sun Jiang, because that would unlock Sun Chuan, uh, Lu Bei, and Cao Cao. Now, if you finish those three, that's that's pretty much the campaign done. I think Cao Cao finishes, I think, might be chapter 10 or 11. I can't remember right now, but Sun Chuan finishes on chapter um, 11, and Lu Bei, I think it's the same as Cao Cao, 10 or 11. I can't remember right now. The point I'm trying to make is chapter 12 and 13, it's mainly aimed at the Jin storyline and Jiang Wei. I finished Jiang Wei's story as well. Um, yeah, and if you choose a different character, you'd think that there'd be something, you know, strikingly different. But the only difference is, li like, literally, you, you will experience the entire same story that you've gone through with Sun Chuan or Liu Bei or Cao Cao. One second. Okay, we've got to convince Gu Yong, because this is the guy that didn't trust Liu Jun. Yet he does nothing. Many... Are dissatisfied with him. Yeah, we're gonna have to impress this dude. <laughs> everyone to be together on this. If they trusted Lu Shun, <coughs> then maybe. Of course, we're gonna accept the mission. Okay, so getting back to what I was saying, where like the story is concerned, and how I kind of feel disheartened. Um, so let's let's just say uh, to put it into better context, yeah. Let's just say uh, I get to chapter seven and I unlock, let's just say Ling Tong or Gan Ning or whoever, right? Uh, now, when I change that character, you'd think that there'd be something different. The only difference is literally the intro, where the narrator will obviously like say is you know bit and piece about the character, the ending of the character, and there might be like one or two unique dialogue scenes, like very very brief unique dialogue scenes, and that is literally it. Apart from that, the entire campaign is identical to whatever character you play as. So it doesn't matter what character you play as, it will be the same. It will be the same. So if you play as the leaders. You're not really going to have much replay value to go back on. But, okay, what do we have to do? So, complete missions in the vicinity and win the trust of Gu Yong. Okay, so now I've said my, you know, bit and piece, because that was a, you know, long, long, flipping introduction. Um, 
Alright, so two missions we have to complete. Uh, let's defend the supply depot or depot, depending on wherever you are from in the world. I know that word has, I think it's like two or three pronunciations. Anyways, let's go and do this. <coughs> but yeah, the platinum should unlock in this video. Platinum trophy should unlock. And I'm, I'm probably going to get the full 100% achievement score on the Xbox One as well. But I'm going to bridge the gap a little bit because... I'm, I'm burnt out. I can't even deny this. It probably sounds weird to you guys if you've watched these, uh, what's, it, what's it called? These playthroughs in chronological order. But um, yeah, I'm burnt out, man. I'm, I'm totally burnt out on this game. <coughs> I just want to get this playthrough over and done with. Oh, brilliant! The horse is spazzing out. This is fantastic footage. <laughs> oh yeah, I changed his weapon as well. Um, yeah, I just fancied using my child's spear. It's quite good. Oh, there you go. Wait, what's that? The pinnacle of Might? That trophy's already unlocked. Okay, that's ex extremely, extremely glitchy. That was the trophy for getting 100 KOs. And I tweeted that like two days ago that I got that trophy. So I don't actually know why it's just re-unlocked because I already had it in the first place. But anyways, that makes some good content, right? <laughs> getting another trophy. Okay, what we got to do? Defeat Lu Bei, who is a... Oh, no, wait. Defeat Hong Zhong. Okay. Oh, there he is. Cool. Get some charge moves going. Oh no, my bad people. Okay, um, this is on beginner. I'll change it back to normal for the next episode. It doesn't really matter anyway. If anything, it will speed up the episode, so that's cool. That's cool by me. Um, oh yeah. Right, so that's another thing I can mention as well. It doesn't matter really what difficulty that you play this game on. The uh, missions, they will give you the same XP, so... I don't really see a difference, but um, the amount of XP the enemies give you, uh, will that should differ based on difficulty. Alright, I, I think we're done. It's just, once again, buffering. Yeah, it's just buffering. So, I could essentially just teleport to another location right now and just start that, like, prematurely. But, um, yeah, let's just wait. It's taking ages, come on. Make my family proud. Come on. Here we go. You see? Alright, next one. Preparations for the fire attack. Defeat all of the shoe officers. Okay, let's do that. <coughs> yeah, so there's a few things I've noticed in this game, you know, like the buffered events. Um, it's, it's just, I don't know, man. I feel like this game probably does it the worst, if you ask me. It's like, <clears throat> in every Koei game, they've always had this problem like with events being buffered and like just slowing down your overall tempo, your like progress going through a level. But in this game, it really does kind of take the cake. I can't even deny that. Because like you finish the mission and you know you've done it and it's just like, can I just please just get on with the next mission? <coughs> Here we go, here's Gon Chan, what his name is. I can't deny I really do like this spear. As much as I enjoyed using his sword, um, yeah, it's really, really nice, this spear. That's the other thing as well, that Cao Cao uh, pretty much shares the same moveset with Sun Chuan. There's a few differences here and there, it's not it's not much though. Um, Sun Chuan's R1 circle move, or R1, or sorry, RBB. I haven't even played it on the Xbox yet, but I'm assuming it would be RBB. Uh, yeah, um, that, you know, that Shoryu, hold on, I'll do it. This move here, Shoryu Ken, yeah, that move. Uh, I prefer his move to uh, to Sal Sal's. It's like some, it's like, what do you call it? The snowy icicle things that come down. It just doesn't really do much damage, if I'm being honest with you. But that short you can move, it does a lot of damage. Where are we going? Where are we going? Are we still waiting for the buffered events? I think we are still waiting for the buffered events. Defeat all of the shoot officers. Okay, I don't really see anyone here. I guess that's it. I guess that's it. Just having fun times waiting for buffered events. Oh yeah. <laughs> so when I unlocked the 100k trophy uh, for KOs, yeah, I, I just... <laughs> I lost my killer instinct. <laughs> I was like saying that to uh, like a friend of mine in chat as well on Discord. I just I can't be bothered to kill people anymore. <laughs> Sounds really bad, don't it? I can't be bothered to kill people anymore. I'm, I'm like some flipping sociopath. 
Psychopath, Sociopath. Yeah, both of them. <laughs> I'm sorry, but who, who are we meant to be killing here? There's no one here. I'm, I'm so confused right now. I really don't know what's going on. There's no one here. Look, base captain. Maybe all of these, it means. But why would it teleport me here? That's really strange. Please, where are you going, horse? Come to me. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Having a little bounce around. Oh, shall we start with a slice of life stuff? Um, so, went to work. Uh... What's it? Right, so after the first recording, I went to work, back to work, and uh, yeah, I came back here, what, like three, four days later, and my nan left me a note, and like, I couldn't believe it. I walked in at like, I think it might have been about five past one in the morning, yeah, and it said something about um, enjoy your sushi. And I was just like, oh my god, she's still looking after me all these years later, you know. I'm, I'm trying to look after her now, yeah, and she wants me like <laughs> to just sit back and let her... No, I'm sorry, I refuse. Absolutely refuse. <laughs> oh, I think it's the boss. One second. Yes, that is the boss. Let's leave Lube for a sec. Yeah, so anyways, yeah. <laughs> I pick up the sushi and I'm like, whoa. I'm like, this this, this isn't sushi. Actually, do you know what? Let me show you people. Down here, one second, one second. Let me show you this. <laughs> Imagine you pick up a sushi, like a big box, and you're like, what the hell is this? It's not a sponsorship. This is legitimately like sushi sweets right there. I haven't even touched it yet because that's walking diabetes. I don't want to die. I don't want to die yet. That's too much sugar. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like... She still attempts to look after me, and I keep telling her, Nan, it's my turn. You've done your time. Let me look after you now. <coughs> but anyways, um, recent development, and again, this is a fine example of having an, an awesome Nan. She was having like a little decluttering session with my mum and yeah, like mum's friend. And I came back to the studio on Monday, and I walked into this room, and I couldn't do anything. Like, it, it was just, everything that was in her room that she was having a clear out on was in my room. And I was just like, Ladies, I'll see you later. I'll come back later, right? <laughs> it was absolutely jokes, right? So, um, looning. Anyways, yeah. Um, but something good actually came out of it. In the process of them kind of, you know, decluttering things, they found a few gems that I genuinely thought had just been thrown in the bin or like sold off. Um, I'll show them in a second. Uh, oh, God. Right, so, actually, I'll show you them now. Right, so I'm gonna pause this quickly, yeah. So, first things first, they found my old SNES, uh, Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Now these these are like kind of knackered, yeah. But look, they found the SNES, they found the old games. Bubsy, I know it's got a bad reputation, but I enjoyed all of these games. That's Bubsy, Aladdin, and an extremely dirty Super Mario. That's that's literally storage right there. Because these went in storage apparently in like the early 90s, I think. Then they found my Mega Drive, I think it's called the Genesis in the West. They found that. That, that was hands down my favourite game, Captain Planet. The case, the game, the book is still in there. Then, going back even further in time, they found my NES system, right? Um, I'm not going to show you the systems, they're all downstairs, but I've just brought up a few games to show you that I really enjoyed. Now, I, I couldn't believe this, they're battered as hell, but the, look, I still have the original cases. I know it doesn't really look clear because of the green screen, but this game's called Bayou Billy. And this is uh, for the NES, and they also found another battered one, TMNT. Like, those were my games back then, man. Those were my games. So, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna clean it all up. I've al already tested it; it all still works. And I'm gonna take it home uh, to the family home, and I'm gonna just sit my son and daughter down and just say, "Play these games. I want you to tell me what you think of them." Because obviously, in my time or our time, I enjoyed that, and I just want to see what they feel you know how do they compare those games to today's games because they're playing some high quality games now well you know quote unquote high quality games but i question it people i question the quality of games these days <laughs> oh man <coughs> right let's take out this person here i'm not even focusing <coughs> i'm not even focusing seriously it's some beginner in it like I could start the entire episode over again, but I really can't be bothered, so I really can't. I just want to get the playthrough over and done with. I feel like I owe it to myself just to just get Sun Chuan over and done with. 
I don't want to just leave it on uh, chapter 9, I think it is. I don't want to do that. But yeah, uh, for future playthroughs though, um, I don't really think you're going to see much more uh, episode playthroughs, if that's what you want to call it. Do you know what, should we just get it over and done with? Just, just get it over and done with, yeah? I think we should just get it over and done with in one playthrough. I could essentially just run straight to that main boss if I wanted to, couldn't I? <laughs> I don't mind doing that, actually. It saves on the editing side of things. <clears throat> right, what's here? What's here? So I've done one mission for Gu Yong to convince him where, uh, what's it called, Lu Jun. His trust for Lu Jun is concerned. Yep, 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 yep. Let's wait for his little dialogue. Seems you are paying close attention after all. He still distrusts him. Got to do one more mission to build that trust up. All right, next. Yeah, I I don't understand this mission here. It's it says defeat the shoe officers, but when you teleport to where they are, they're just not there. Let me see what I'm missing. I bet it's something obvious. So look, there's no flag on the map. There's no marker. Mahogany level 95. Alright, so this is the castle it wants us to go to. I, need everyone to defend this area. I don't understand what it wants me to do. There's no one here. There's a ton of people outside, yeah, but these are pretty irrelevant to my life right now. <laughs> I really don't care for these people. The platinum might pop in a sec. I don't really know. I don't know where I stand on my leveling status. Amazing, Lord Sun Chuen. But yeah, legit. There's no one in here. I don't know if this is glitched out or not. But yeah, there's no one in here, which which sucks. Unless it does mean beat all these people. Who knows? Who knows? Let's let's just go and beat them. Also, as well, um, I can never remember the name of this. I think it's called Hokto Gagakto, I think, which is like Fist of the North Star. It's a new game coming out on PS4. Uh, the demo came out today, so, um, right, yeah, like speaking right now, I'm contemplating whether I should do a little demo impressions video because I really do enjoy me some Fist of the North Star. Really, really do enjoy it. Right, let's take out Chen Zen. <laughs> the legend of Chen Zen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that movie is good, man. That is a good movie. Where is Guan Jing? Is this him? Here we go. Found ya. You little bastard. Hmm. Next up. Alright, let me mark all these people. Since they're not appearing properly. That's another one of my complaints as well. Um, I, I don't like how when you level up your horse, it's obviously moving fast. What's that? Oh, there you go. That's the... That's, yeah. That's the game I was just talking about a second ago. That's... Um, Hokuto... Hokuto Gagakuto. I think that's what the name is. I can't remember. Uh, what was I saying about the horse leveling? Um, yeah, so when you level up your horse, I like the leveling progression of the horse but what I dislike is when the horse starts moving around really quickly when you approach an enemy officer um, the horse is moving too quick and it takes a while to load like the officer up or like the troops the assets whatever you want to call it um, yeah it's really really annoying really annoying because again it slows the tempo of the game down and one of the things I was saying uh, in my October video I did was um, the only thing I really had complaints about was like the tempo of the game um, oh yeah, on the subject of that video as well, it, it, it's hilarious, right? So I made that video, what I thought of the 10 minute demo in October, yeah? And people are, are commenting to this very flipping day, they're under the impression that what I was talking about was the full game, right? I'm sitting there thinking, no, it really, really, really wasn't the full game. You can't crucify me for, what's it called, like a 10 minute opinion on a 10 minute game. Like seriously, a 10 minute demo. Oh man, these people are funny, seriously. These people are honestly funny. What's even more funny as well is I've got people commenting on that video, literally, yeah? Like, the conspiracy game is so strong. People think I'm some, like, inside mole that's, like, working for Koei Tecmo trying to promote their titles and shit like that. I said, that's not me! I'm literally an ordinary, everyday peasant family man with, like, kids. And I'm just playing the games I enjoy, you know? 
and that's it. Yes, you know, in recent times they've approached me to basically become affiliated with them, but I'm I'm not, you know, you know, like rooted into the company where they're like flipping paying me a flipping salary and shit like that. I don't know where people get these conspiracy theories from. It's hilarious, man. Hilarious. <laughs> Coming in, Guan, so let's do this. Sure you can, you. Sure you can. See, I'm not really getting much combos in because it's on beginner mode, but whatever, man. Whatever. It's cool. It speeds it up. It speeds it up. Bao San Yang is up here. Yeah. The combo game on normal mode was quite strong because they had a, a little bit more health. Yeah, it's not it's, it's not really that strong at the moment. <coughs> Anyways, let's do this. Yeah, I was standing there to see how long it would take for her to get up. That was that was pretty long. That was pretty long. So glad I got my energy back. The last episodes I did, I felt so guilty putting those videos out because I was looking at my energy, just looking at my face, and I, I looked miserable. I looked uninterested. Oh, oh man, it, it's so annoying because in my mind I was enjoying the experience of the game, but I just felt like crap. <laughs> I just felt really, really bad. Anyways, let's, let's go over here because I, I, I believe that this little mission here has actually glitched out because um. Well, okay, like we'll teleport there one more time, but if it doesn't trigger, as in, you know, says mission complete, I'm just going to go straight to Lube. That's not ideally what I want to do, but that's another complaint I have as well, is I've experienced a few glitches where missions, um, you, like, you can't initiate, uh, what do you call it, the dialogue to start a mission. There was one in my playthrough, actually. I went up to Zhu Sheng uh, to start a mission, and I could not interact with him. Yeah, see, there's no one here. There's no one here. It's telling me to... Yeah, there's no one here. Yeah, screw it. There's no one here. Let's let's just go to Lubei. Because this mission is just... I'm assuming it's glitched. Because it can't... Like, it says defeat all the shoot officers. And these defense... Whatever you want to call them. These defense captains. They're not exactly officers. Ah, oh, well. Chances are, anyway, it's going to branch off into another, um, not a chapter, what do you call it? Like, I, I don't even know what to call it. But chapters are usually split between two parts, so we'll get to see some more stuff there. Uh, where's Lu Bei? Oh, actually, let me take out Luning. There we go. Yay! No, he just sidestepped that. <laughs> oh man, Joker! I cannot die before I have claimed Sun Chuan's head. Lord Sun Chuan, I just wanted to see if the arrows would take damage off of this tower. Okay. Now's our chance. Lu Xun, I'm leaving the rest to you. Okay. Hmm. Leave it to me. Hey, Lu Xun, let's show him just how brightly our spirit burns. <coughs> That's upsetting. Didn't get to see much of the dialogue in that little segment because it glitched on me. Oh man, the loading is quite bad in this game as well. Oh, is this potential thumbnail material? This might be. Yes, yeah, I think that's my thumbnail. Yep, yeah, right there. <laughs> that's my thumbnail. Hopefully. <laughs> Ooh! Oh my god, what a throw! Yeah, man! <laughs> what would have been great is if those two soldiers was casually enjoying a meal. 
<laughs> and then oil just got splattered all over the place. That face actually is good thumbnail material. <laughs> Just him looking in despair, you know, like. <laughs> oh man, brilliant. Ambush it, yielding complete. Yeah. Oh, so close. Look at that little smidgen of XP and bloop, platinum. I just did the achievement sound, didn't I? What's the trophy sound? I can't even remember. I can't actually remember the trophy sound. <laughs> All right. Um. So we have to pursue the shoe forces. Okay, um, I think you can foul this mission as well. Let's go and defend G We, whatever you want to call it. Ah, come back. Zigui. Is that actually how you pronounce it? An escape route. I will do my duty. I can tell that you're ready to give your life in the battle if need be. So who's here then? Just Shing Sai? That is still not enough to stop me. Who's that? Captain? I don't really care for you. I think they provide like 9 XP. Actually, let's check. Because like the troops don't provide any XP. Alright, so I'm sitting on 4711. Let's kill this defense captain and see how much XP he gives. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. Parkour off the tree. No. <laughs> the game is spazzing out. All right. Okay. 4711, yeah? Oh, my God. Please, let me see. Right. Okay. So, it's not really that much, really, is it? It's, <laughs> look, it's gone up to 4717. Not much XP for those people at all. Uh, anyway, Shingsai. Let's do this. We must defend this location. Do not let the enemy. Oh! Hell's wrath. Who's that? Where'd these people come from? We must not let them run away. He, he's dead. Let's kill Chen Zen again. Wait, who's this? Where the hell did these people come from? Some sneaky little ambush. This is another annoying thing as well. I don't need you every five seconds to state your presence. I can see you. Honestly, I wish there was an option to turn that off. But there's been quite a few times when I'll start my missile attack and then all of a sudden they'll do that little announcement flipping introductory thing and yeah, my missile becomes void or my R1 circle becomes totally void. It's unfair. What, like, what is this? What? Like, please get down. <laughs> Oh my god. That was ridiculous. <laughs> okay. That's mission complete. Let's go over here. Down, down. Stone Sentinel Maze. Okay. Where's my horse at? Oh! Oh! That's your master! Trophy earned! Where's the plat? Oh! There you go! True warrior of the three kingdoms come and just bask in the glory, people. I know you're probably not going to feel anything for this, but this is this is great. This is a great feeling. 0 0.2. 0 0.2. Let me just quickly hold on. Yes, I'm doing this. I don't I don't care. I'm going on to true trophies and I want to see how many people have completed this game. Right, let me just quickly log in. Okay, I will I will tell you. I will commentate, I will narrate the entire situation. I'm gonna tell you how many people have completed this on True Trophies. All right, Dynasty Warriors 9. How many people have completed this game? Bearing in mind, I could have completed this game three days ago. I've just been holding out so I could get it on camera. Uh, right, only, I was the fourth person. Fourth person, would have been the flipping second if I'd done it when I originally, you know, could have done it. Damn, yeah! Do you know what that tells me? That tells me you can do anything. You can, you can do anything. I'm a dad. I have two kids. I balance out all of that nice lifestyle. I have a job and I manage a YouTube channel and I'm still able to obtain long ass platinum trophies. Yeah, you can do anything. You can do anything you want. You just got to put your mind to it, people. Simple as. Mm -mm. 
He just totally bombarded me with rocks there. <coughs> but yeah, I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, platinum trophy out of the way. Sitting right above my Dynasty Warriors 8XL double plats. So yeah, good, good times, people. Good times. Next up is probably going to be Dynasty Warriors 9. Um, actually, actually, I might start Knights of Azure 2 or the new Atelier game that's coming out. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about getting the plat on one of those two. It, it will probably be Knights of Azure 2 only because I completed the first one. I got the plat on that game. And for what it was, I know it really didn't get that much good reviews, but I actually really enjoyed the story. I really did enjoy that story. <coughs> okay. Every enemy slain is yet another victory for the kingdom of Ugh. Ugh. Someone's up here. Ah. Oh. Who's up here? Guan Yin Ping. All right. I need everyone to defend this area. I lacked the necessary strength. Yeah. Goodbye. I'll be back. Hurry. Yeah. This officer bows before the might of the Sun family. Next mission. Break the formation. Xiao Yun's pursuit. Which one shall we do? Let's do break the formation. I shall make my family proud. Oh well, this is incredibly annoying, isn't it? Amazing, Lord Sun Chuen. Yahoo! Scholar, what you got for me? Provide me with the juicy we'll details. We skilled engineers to make it through the stone sentinel maze. First, we need to increase our stock of tools. Head to a village in the north. See the village chief, but watch out for the Shu forces also heading there. Okay. Everything's on fire. Anyways, can I teleport there? Is it like just a quicker way to teleport? Uh, nope. Okay, we're just gonna have to ride on Mr. Mahogany. It's so dreary. So dreary. Look at the rain. It's just what's the <coughs> shit's going down. Right, what's over here? Oh, I'll make sure they that don't hurt. That's right, Guan Xin. We have to do our duty as the rear guard. Oh, there's Zhang Rao. Okay, safe. okay. Damn it! Tell you. That launch move is the bread and butter right there. Bread and butter combo for just triangling and just, you know, executing them straight away. I think that's that. Just gotta go over here now. Ow, ow, ow. Got no incentive to KO any of these people. There is no flaw in your form or technique. Yahoo! Yeah, so I'm under no pressure to make any more playthroughs as I was saying earlier, like, what, like 10 minutes ago or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll probably will do a playthrough here and there, but I'm not under any pressure anymore. I, I just, yeah, I'll just upload whatever one, whenever I want. Like, it might be within a month, it might be in two months, I don't really know, but yeah. I'm burnt out and I don't really fancy spamming campaign after campaign after campaign. I, I can't be bothered. Really, really can't be bothered. <coughs> okay, break formation two. Do, do, do you know what? I'm going to request an update on that site just so I can secure my fourth um, spot. Where is the update? Request update. Cool. I 
Thing is, that site though, it's like a good site. Uh, it's true achievements um, sister site. I like it, but I, I don't think the there's that many people signed up to it. Thick stone. No light can penetrate it. We'll need torches and better quality ones than those we have at the moment. There's quality so that screen oil flickering. That is it meant to be lightning or is that actually some little glitch shit going on? Look, the back left. Is it stopped now? Yeah, I think it's stopped. Alright, what are we doing? Defeat the brigand leader. Yeah, uh, maybe PSM profile. Wait, is it PSM profiles? I can't remember the name of the website now. But I need a like a trophy website where I can compete like leaderboards and all that kind of stuff globally. I used to do that with true achievements. I don't really do it that much anymore. <coughs> Help me. If we don't get to Wuling, we'll never get the oil. What are you talking about, mate? You legitimately want me to sit next to you. No matter what Dynasty Stories game it is, you always end up getting on a horse near to the end of the game and just sitting on it, just smacking the peasants out of the way. Now I can find the oil we need. We'll have the best possible torches soon. Are you gonna move? I think we did it. Yeah, we did it. Cool. I don't even need to do this anymore. <laughs> I can't level up. Speaking of leveling up, I think I can upgrade. Yes, indeed. How many points have I got? 66. All right. So I was reading online that if you upgrade your speed, apparently it's meant to do something. Just let me do it. Uh, let me go for the power as well, and we're good to go. Right now, let me see exactly how fast this character moves. Right. I literally feel not that much difference. There, like, there is a difference, but it's not that much. Anyways, uh, why is this one still going on? Oh, whatever, we'll do it later. <coughs> oh, man. Really? Really? <laughs> okay, you can sit there. I obtained the quality oil thanks to you. This oil, which burns, but first it must be processed by an engineer in a village to the west. You need to go and find him. Take this oil with you. Yes, boss. Okay, cool. Right, let me go back to wait. Is this one here? The Speller of Darkness. So this is how we, uh, what's it called, can navigate our way through the stone sentinel maze. Oh my! There we go. Let's go. Ah, that's rare oil you can only find in Jingnan. Few people can work with it. I'd like to work with you, but. I don't have the materials to make it burn. Could you collect Please. these materials? Then I want I to have these materials in my inventory so I can just give them to him. Ah, that this is really annoying. Could you this is another thing I don't like as well. So you have to kind of like walk away and then walk back to him to give him the items. Even though you can clearly see it's a 12 out of 12 on the side. So I don't know what's going on there. Oh, you've collected a lot. Well done. Now we can light up the entire maze. Done. Okay. Do 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 do. Let's go here. Continue this mission that I could have sworn I did, but okay. Let's just get on with it. Success. Where is the, the flag? Whatever you want to call it. Scroll. Here we go. What's exactly in there? Oh my god, please put there we go. 
<laughs> the Shu army had set up camp in our village, distressing our citizens. Thank you for freeing us once again. I have heard what you need from the gentleman scholar. Here is the tool you need, made using a special technique. Deliver the tools to the scholar of Yiling. Okay, let's do that. Alright, let's not make the same mistake. He's not in the castle, he's on the outskirt. Yeah, short playthroughs like Pang Tong, um, who I'm assuming has a like extremely short playthrough. I haven't done him yet. Uh, Lu Bu, I haven't even completed Lu Bu yet. Next, we need an engineer to actually use okay, them. Get on with it. Right. So yeah, like characters like that, I think I will play as because they're they're quite short in length. Um, but characters with these I long playthroughs, I, I can't be bothered to do them. I'm not gonna lie because there's there's no difference. There's really no like actual difference. Plus, I also need to, um, I've done Lu Bei, and I've done Dong Zhou, and who else? What was the requirements to get the red hair? I need to do Pang Tong to get his horse that he shares with Lu Bei, and I need to uh, complete Lu Bu to unlock the red hair as well. Um, anyways, uh, the elderly engineer's teachings, let's do that. Wow, why is that so far away? Yeah, what, what's the horse called again? Is it the hex mark? Can't remember now. Bloody hell. <coughs> but yeah, uh, for the red hair, you have to complete Guan Yu, Dong Zhou, and Lu Bu. I've done Guan Yu and Dong Zhou. Guan Yu was another long campaign as well. That was pretty long. I think he had like was it eight or nine. I think it might have even been ten. Can't remember, but I know it was definitely more than seven. <laughs> A lot of chapters. We need a skilled engineer to make it through the Well, maze. that's not spelt right, is it? Look at that. Well, I've got through. An idea. Though. <laughs> an old engineer who Unbelievable. The Ood, take this letter and these tools to him. If he leads our engineers, we'll have a real chance at the Stone Sentinel Maze. Where is this mission? Excuse me, thank you. If you're wondering when I pause the game why I'm not doing anything for like 3 to 5 seconds, it's because I'm waiting for that little white thing to stop spinning and let me actually, you know, move. <laughs> it literally locks your controls, you can't do anything. It just locks you up. Alright, let's talk to the artisan. Hmm. I understand the situation. If he is asking, then I am happy to help. But this tool is no good. It will need to be strengthened so that it can cut through that rock. If you could bring me oh, some please tell me I've got all I could strengthen that tool. I just can't be bothered to go searching we for it. Form an elite engineer unit. All right. Yes. Okay. We've got three of them. Should be able to talk to him now. Whoops. That's it. I haven't had such an important job in many a year. Stone Sentinel Maze Engineer Unit, advance. Done. Okay, next up is hopefully the main mission. Hopefully, hopefully. Yes, it is. Right, let's do this. Let's go slaughter Lube. <laughs> Whoa, what kind of rubbish teleportation point is this? This is AIDS. What is this? Unbelievable. Okay, let's go. Hmm, I wonder if I can... No, I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm just going to try and go up that mountain. I can't be bothered with the grappling hook. Right, here we are, Stone Sentinel Maze. A message from Ooh, the mist. Leon. Relief Leon Captain, who's this? Well, this is close. Yes. I must apologize to everyone, especially Jugalion. What do I do? But for now, I must head for... Baby? Is it actually Baby? I thought it was Baidi. 
Wait, is the gate open now? Nope, still not open. Oh, the enemy. No. Just stone statues. This was a great scene as well in the live action show. <laughs> Let me save it. I can't save it. Okay. <laughs> Is he moving? I think he's moving. Sure, you can. Can I save it now? I still can't save it. Wow. Amazing. Chukaleon. You're going down, Chukaleon. Oh, <laughs> get down there. Never anticipated you would make it this deep into the stone sentinel maze. Can I hit this? But this is where your progress. What does this stops? do? What does that do? Hmm, interesting. Right, why well, have I got a feeling I'm gonna fail this mission? Can you not jump up here? Nope, it's like an invisible wall there. really strange anyways uh, let's go this way I've got a feeling I'm gonna foul this just got a feeling that Lube is like kind of gonna run away hmm how do I get to Lube really strange. Let's go take this guy out here quickly. Where is he? Inside here? He's hiding. Oh, brilliant. What, a, what an amazing hiding spot. <laughs> Alright, he's taken care of. This officer bows before the might of the Soon family. Let's open this gate while I'm here. You are an inspiration to us all. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to fail this mission. Because I can't... I don't really understand where to go. He's... Hmm. Defeat Lube, who is withdrawing to Baidi Castle. Where's Baidi? See, there's Baidi. Can I just literally just, like, march out and round and go up a mountain? I'm going to try it. <laughs> I'm going to flipping try it. it. This might be like a severe waste of time, but I have no idea what this game is asking me to do right now. Hopefully I can. I wonder if I can. Alright, let's try it. Okay, where are you, Lube? Is he on the ground? Oh, interesting. Where is he? I don't actually know where he is. <laughs> Yo, they designed this where they were like, no, no, there's only one way to go, and you have to take that way. Excuse me? <laughs> do you see where Mighty Castle is and do you see where Lube is? That's not even me being salty right there. Okay, let's do this again. Let's do this again. Did you see that bullshit? <laughs> oh my god. 
<coughs> that was complete bullshit. Like, let me go and show you, yeah? You saw Lube was here, right? <clears throat> My man literally teleported from like here to here. Like, how? Please tell me how. <laughs> okay, game. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Right, let's, let's get on with this. <laughs> I, I still don't understand what it was asking me to do though. I took out Jiggly on. I went down the hill. You couldn't really go anywhere in like that little cave thing of Majiggy. It was like what do you call it? Like an invisible wall. I couldn't I couldn't get past it. I have no idea what it's talking about. Alright, let's do this again. It's not something I wanted to do, people, but <laughs> it's gonna happen. A real man records his failures. <laughs> No, better yet, a real man uploads his failures. I'm, I'm talking rubbish. I'm just, I'm just trying to make it, you know. Just, I'm just easing the pain for myself. <laughs> All right, okay. Right, so here's the gate, and it's like locked, totally locked. Okay. And now it's open. Oh my god, that did not happen before. You saw that. I went to the gate, it was closed. When he spoke, I went back to the gate, it was still closed. What a load of rubbish. Load of rubbish. Alright, just, just for that. Where are you? Running. You eat this little bastard. I'm not even pressing triangle, I want to muscle you. Feel the wrath. <laughs> so irritating. <laughs> Oh my god. Nah, that's, that's complete bullshit. That is complete bullshit. Seriously, like, you saw me get to the gate. I went up to it. It was shut. I went back to it after he finished his dialogue the first time around. It was still shut. I restart checkpoint and now the gate opens. <coughs> it's over, Liu Bei. Any further resistance is futile. Not yet. I can't retreat yet. Not until I have vengeance for my brothers. In that case, I suppose it can't be helped. You leave me no choice but to kill you. Run! Lord Liu Bei! Princess! Lady Shang Shang, what are you doing? Look at that tiger in the background. Tiger's chilling, man. Brother, you're <laughs> going to kill Lord Liu Bei. You'll have to get through me first. Get out of my way, Shang Shang. Liu Bei must die. This is to protect U. That is the destiny with which I have been burdened. I am just like you. I want to protect those that are closest to me. The tiger's fangs exist to protect its beloved family. Do I not also have father's blood running through my veins? Oops. <sighs> Forgive me, Lady Shang Shang. Shang Shang, are you sure about this? If you leave us now, you can never return to U again. That may be so, but I am Lord Liu Bei's wife. Forgive me, brother, and thank you. Shang Shang. Wow. Oh man, to be honest with you, that little bit there, that wouldn't surprise me if it the did glitch. The army has withdrawn from the battlefield. We did it. Who is victorious? Well, what did you think, Lu Xun? I was pretty good <laughs> out there, right? Yes, Master Huron. Our victory was all thanks to your brilliant fire attack. Your leadership was also instrumental to our success, Lu Xun. Yes, indeed. I could not ask for a more capable governor general to lead U into battle. Please, everybody, you are embarrassing me. By the way, Master Ling Tong, have you oh. seen Master Gong Ying around? Oh my god, my heart. Me? Besides, sure no, he got killed by Sh Shamok. Shamok, whatever his name is. Oh, Bob. I bring troubling news. No, I told you. That flipping soldier in every single faction. Damn. I never 
thought I'd meet my Hold on, wasn't he up against this. a tree? I think he died up against a tree. What the hell was that? What the hell was Come that? God. Seriously. You're wounded. <laughs> this is great! Oh my god! <laughs> I can't even laugh properly. Oh my god. They cut me. Oh, conversational tips. 101 people. Oh, this is this is everything you're not supposed to do. Oh yes. <laughs> Sorry. But it looks like with me gone, you won't be able to avenge your father. <laughs> Can you be serious for once? <laughs> There's just so much I need to say to you. You can't die on me yet. You just can't. <laughs> that wing tongue. You know what? It's tough to carry on the will of another person. I thought this scene would be unique to like Gan Ning gone. or Ling Tong if he was using them. You know, I think I know how you feel. Sorry. Because I know you've already got your father and the old man. But it looks like you're gonna have to make room for one more. Uh, good luck out there. I'm counting on you. <laughs> Yet, another trusted friend has given their life so that I may continue. Oh, my God. Life. Forgive me. Why why did that happen? Forgive oh me. man, why did that glitch have to happen with, like with Ling Tong? He's back to, to Gan Ning. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I'm so glad that happened. That's great content right there. And I I really want to meme that that soldier in every faction, literally, there's that soldier. I've called him Bob. I've dubbed him Bob, right? Because he's literally the soldier of demise. I can see it now. <laughs> like, hello, my name is Bob, the soldier of demise. <laughs> Oh my god, oh, that was great. What was I saying about that glitch that happened? If it was a glitch, yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if I'm honest with you because um, when I was playing, what level was I playing? The further I advance, can't remember right now. It'll come back to me in a sec. The more I lose, that which is most important to me. Father, brother. Yeah, children. when you put it like that, like that, that is some deep loss right there. Lose too. Lu Meng. That's like the I brunt force of Wu. <coughs> Go on. Shangxiang. Why have I bothered fighting all this time? What has been the point of it all if you're not here with me to enjoy it? Somebody. Tell me what to do. Oh man, I'm really liking Sun Chuan's English voice actor though. I know like right now public opinion where English voices are concerned in this game isn't, you know, sitting at the highest point, but I, re I really like some of the English voices in this game. Not all of them, there's some some of them I really don't like, like um, Guo Hai, like, oh my god, what was they thinking? <laughs> Andrew Galeon. I'd like to thank you for coming, Master Zhuge Leon. The situation is, I have been asked to discuss something with you. And you are? Ah. Your strategy at Yiling was great. No, thank you, but there's still a great deal for me to learn. That may be, but isn't this a little overdone? You have gathered all these troops just for me. Right now, in our eyes, you are a far greater enemy than Cao Wei. This talk is merely an extension of that. Given that, we are merely taking a few precautions. Certainly. In the battle with Sun Wu, we lost a great number of people. 
starting with Lord Leo Bay. We will never forget the grief and the regret. However, even with that, there are things that must be said. You are talking about an alliance between our clans. Yes. It will change nothing between Sun Hu and Shu Hong. My land is split in three parts. The late Zhou Yu's land in two parts. Both of those were specifically designed to stop Zhao Wei. Now is the time to return to that strategy once again. Hmm. Together, our houses must join to defeat Zhao Wei. And then, after that... Then we will settle things. Not in some discussion. It will be settled on the battlefield. Understood. I shall tell my lord. I shall explain the benefits of a temporary alliance with you. Too many temporary alliances. <laughs> Too many, man. And they're we fragile at best. <laughs> to put an end to this lawless chaos. Seriously, their alliances, they like literally give glass. You know, glass a run for its money. That's how fragile it is. So easy to break. Oh, man. I can't remember that stage I was like referring to. There was a stage anyway that it, it like he just glitched out on me. Lord, I spoke with Master Zhuge Liang and we have managed to repair the alliance between U and Shu. However, we have lost our alliance with Wei, who is now sending a large army in our direction. How do you wish to respond? I will destroy any who seek to invade U. Simply no say <laughs> who it may be. Everyone, prepare for battle. I shall join you shortly. <sighs> Last chapter, people. Last chapter. What's the matter with our Lord? It's like his thoughts are somewhere else. I imagine that the events at Ealing still weigh heavily on his mind. He feels responsible for the lives that have been lost on the path he has chosen. However, like with this invasion by Wei, our Lord is not the one responsible. Even still, I think he believes he brought this situation upon us all. This isn't good. If our Lord's spirit is wavering, it will affect the moral of our entire army. We have to do something <laughs> that to synchronization, though. Actually, I think we... That's easier said than done. What can we do? Hey, listen! Maybe we could ask Lady Leon Shu to try and cheer him up. Yeah... I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> the shades! Go and cheer him up! <laughs> <laughs> hey, be quiet. Oh, oh come on, they're men now. <laughs> Isn't trying to do something about our Lord basically the same as saying we expect him to do it all himself? That's not right. It is the role of us vassals to support our Lord, especially in times of trouble. Master Hang Gang. I'm sorry, Master Hong Dong. You're right. We can't let our Lord's burden become any greater than it already is. Let's work together to protect U. To that end, I think I have a plan. Do you mind if I take the lead here? Hmm. So late into the oh, story. This is rather unusual. Very well, Xu Sheng. Let's see what you come up with. Hmm? Does this mean I get to raise the battle cry? 
Okay, everyone. This is the time for us to beat back the Way forces. We shall do whatever it takes to protect Ooh. Ooh. Right. I'm doing it. I'm just going to finish this chapter. I just want to get it over and done with. I don't care. I just want to get it over and done with, people. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. It's Bob. General Shushan, the preparations are complete. Hmm. Good. Then we were in time. Bob with some positive news. <laughs> wow. I am amazed at all of this. Again, you have made some fairly impressive preparations. You draw the enemy in and you fool them. There is reason for making them impressive. Even launching ships that have no one on board? Empty ships are fine. As long as no one approaches. Wait, what? The way Emperor Sao Ki marched south. His intentions are to push us back. However, I have no intention of letting U get swallowed up. He may be a raging wave, but we will meet and turn him. Still, this is very well done. To me, it looks just like a real castle. It does, doesn't it? No one is ever going to believe that there's nothing inside. No. Oh this yes. This castle's not a fake. This castle isn't empty. It's filled all the way. To I the remember top this. With our resolution and pride. I remember now. Yes. When the way land on the shores, they're like, "Wait, what? How have they built a castle in such a short amount of time?" Um, I think. Hideyoshi did that as well in Samurai Warriors. I don't, I don't remember the details, but I remember him building a castle overnight, I think it was, or like a castle imitation or something like that. Yeah, very, very similar. <coughs> okay, let's do this, people. Let's do this, I'm ready. Wait, is this, um... Holy crap, this is still chapter 10. Holy crap! So they, they made Yi Ling and this chapter two different things. Man, he's... Oh, Kawea nuts. Kawea absolutely nuts. Alright, let's go attack... Uh, what's it called? Attack of the Way Forces. Defeat Wang Yi. That's mad! They split Yi Ling and this. It, like, literally, it's like one chapter, but they've just split it. That's madness. Oh, bruv. That's right, have a nice little spaz session. There we go. Don't care, don't care. Where's boss man? Where is the boss man? Where is Wang Yi? Oh, not even boss man, boss lady. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. Oh, she's outside. Okay. Okay. Enemy attack. When did that happen? That's when he defeated next. Stop breezing through these missions. Let's go. I cannot afford to fall here. I will have to leave the rest up to the others. The enemy is trying to find out more about us. We must warn Master Yu Fan. See, this is what I'm talking about. Hurry up, please. Oh, all right, okay, cool. We're ready to go. There's something about these walls. Watch you and report back at once. I think I can stay on my horse and just take them out quicker. We can't allow the enemy to learn of our <laughs> His face. Oh, okay, he's gonna block. Fantastic. I shall make my family proud. Let's do this, let's do this. My lord, your might is like that of a tiger on the battlefield. Ooh. 
when pinned. This officer bows before the might of the Is he going to death? There is no flaw in your kill him. He's a low forward and fluid. Oh, mighty. Baby, I messed up. Next. Freezing through the missions. The castle's walls are weak against strong winds. We need to reinforce them, or else our plot will be exposed. However, we don't have enough materials. We need to gather some as quickly as possible. Of course. So, glue. Do I have enough glue? Just waiting for the mission to appear on the right. Shall make my family Collect proud. glue and deliver it to you, Shane. The castle. Oh. What the hell? Why is it asking me to accept the same mission twice? Three times? How many times have I got to accept this mission before it says yes? No, I can't talk to him at all. Wow. See, that's another thing I hate. I accepted that mission three times before it registered and said, oh, he's got glue. I think. Has it? And okay. Now we can get started on reinforcing the, hell, the man. walls. What the hell was that about? I think that's done. Keep the secret of the fake castle. Yeah, that that was pretty awful. That was. I accepted the mission three times, Success. and it, it just wasn't I'm registering. You performed great as always. There was no need for my strategy. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy where are greatly. We? All units march. <coughs> I don't even know where we are. Now, take defensive positions. Okay. It started. What do we have to do? Just defeat officers. <clears throat> the best way to learn about your opponent is to get Ooh. close to them. We shall defeat the gate guards and infiltrate Jian Ye. They are attacking Jian Ye. Close the north gate and tighten the defenses. Let's go here first. Fierce resistance. Send out a request for reinforcements. Alright, Chang. Huh. <coughs> yes, 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 yes. We know you're here. We'll overcome them with our radiance. This battle is fine. Where's my horse? Stout defenses reap most foul. Perhaps they are hiding something here. We must defend this position to the last man. Reporting enemy reinforcements have arrived. Yeah, man. Just when I was so close to John Ye. This officer bows before the might Who of the hell was this battle. peasant? My lord, your might is like that of a tiger on the battlefield. We shall defend this Next position. and last now person. A single enemy through. Who is it? I wonder who it is. Now, take defensive positions. Someone who's not appearing. I am Lord Lu Jian. Yeah, 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 yeah. You perform great as always. The fact that this chapter is actually, you know, quite long. It's covering Yiling and uh, this chapter here. I can never remember what this little time period is called here. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of going to go on a limb and say that the last chapter of Sunshine was is, like, kind of going to be short because 
yeah, it wouldn't really make much sense to have two major campaigns into one chapter and then, you know, doing another long one straight after that. That's just me though, personally, but it just wouldn't make sense to me. Really? Okay, let's go and do this one here, whatever it is. I shall make my family. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you are unstoppable. For those curious, by the way, it's actually the 22nd of February now, so there was a big gap from when I recorded that last episode. Quite a big gap. Ding Fung wants materials to be used for the fire attack. Oh, this is long. All this material gathering is just robbing me blind. <laughs> Preparing the fire attack. Oh, I got charcoal. And I can't talk to the dude. Okay, let me take these people out. Take him out. Him out. And him. And put the weapon away. Talk. This Done. Right. That's quite far. Whoa, man. Yeah, let's do this one. Amazing. You are really showing us how it's done. Okay, so we got a secure a marching route, defeat New Jin. I know, is he on the outside of the castle? Well, might as well just go back out. Just get on my horse. Just ride around. I thought he was inside this castle. Yeah, he's not in this castle on my left, he's on, uh, where is he? I think he's on the castle walls on the next one. Secure marching route. Okay, let's do that. Alright. I need everyone to defend this area. Alright. I need everyone to defend this area. Where is he? Did he just legit run away from me? Oh my good. Okay, let's go. Let's chase him. Coming for you, Nujin. No, that's not who I'm interested in. Let's bust the Musso attack. Spin around. In a big old circle. Still alive? Okay, I can just end it right here now. Done. Yeah. He's gonna get angry with him. What's this mission? Let's do that mission last. <coughs> I actually just really want to finish this now and just test that the Fist of the North Star demo. It looks really good. There's another demo I need to test that as well. Uh, you know the anime Little Witch Academia, I think it's called. I've only seen that. Uh, <coughs> oh, bloody hell, my throat just went there. I told you my voice is still messed up. I'm I'm healthy. I feel great, right? But my voice is just the remnants of it. <coughs> but anyways, yeah, um, Little Witch Academia. I've only seen like two or three episodes of the anime, but my daughter, she's she's like really really enjoying it. Apparently, it's really good. She's enjoying it. So I'm gonna test out the game, see what it's like, and if it's worthy. <laughs> Because I've, I've I've played Seven Deadly Sins, people that have been kind of following me, uh, what like since last week, you'll know that I bought Seven Deadly Sins. Haven't recorded any footage, but I've been playing it offline, and 
I am, I'm so disappointed with that game. Seriously, I wish they'd give it to the Storm team or the Fighters team. Whoever they gave it to, like whatever branch team they gave it to, did a poor job. It was so generic, man. It's not, it's, it's not that good. It's really, really not that good. What are you doing? <laughs> First, I want a triangle to use a grappling hook. But yeah, um, I hope. Uh, what's it called again? Little Witch Academia. Uh, yeah. I'm going to test the demo after this. It's already out in Japan. It came out in November. Uh, the demo, I'm going to test that and see if it's good. If it's worthy. When it comes out in the UK, I'll buy it from my door. Chin Lan. Right, that was an important mission, and it's over with. Let's just, I think we've got one little side mission to do. I don't know what it is though, let's find out what it is. Something to do with materials, I bet. Give me this material, give me that material. Right, what are we doing? Whoa, late asset loading. Now I remember what I was going to explain to you. So there was this little, um... Right, there was a dialogue scene I had to start up with Man Chong, but the problem is, he was glitched inside the tent. I, I, like, this tent, I couldn't get inside it, so I had to restart the entire chapter. So that's why I said, if Yi Ling glitched where the Liu Bei door didn't open, it, it really wouldn't surprise me. <coughs> it really wouldn't surprise me at all. See, look. The guy I'm meant to be talking to. Okay. What does he want me to do? Pan Zhang. Mark my words. Next vanilla base game, he will be a main character. Pan Zhang. Mm-hmm. You taken care of. Last guy over here. I dropped my guard. How could I let these suspicious dogs defeat me? Oh, this is great. <laughs> oh my god. Let's hurry on to I finally get through the bamboo. It is obvious <laughs> you are up to something. Jang Liao. I refuse to let your plan come to fruition. Oh, it's Jung Liao. We can't hope to win against him. I think that's that for that mission. Yep, I'm just waiting for the mission to show me it's been completed and then I'm gonna uh, fast travel to the main mission and that should be chapter concluded. For God's sake, there's another one. Oh! Do one side mission, another one appears out of nowhere. Success. I'm proud of this achievement. Captured a weapons base. Shouldn't this have kind of been a party, if I'm being honest? So what, we just got to defeat defense. these? No. What business do the soldiers of Wu have here? There we go. I was if gonna say, surely we don't have to attack, defeat the weapons if we need to capture them. Perhaps you are not smart enough to fear our forces. <laughs> In that case, allow me to teach you this most valuable of lessons. <laughs> Right. I believe I allowed the enemy to best Hopefully that's the last battle. mission. I am too ashamed to face my lord in Hopefully. person. He's open. <coughs> come on, come on, come on. He slide down into the chair, get all comfy. Oh, is that Nancy? Oh, Nan's home. <laughs> Let's see if she says hello to me. It's a little ritual. What she should walk in. Get ready. Hold on. 
Get ready. Wait. <laughs> you're right, man. <laughs> she didn't say you're right, but she said, "You sleeping, Aaron?" Yeah, and I'm recording. Okay. I shall make my family. <laughs> oh, it was jokes. <laughs> What's that? You're falling over the Hoover. All right. Who is weak after its fight with Shu? This is our best oh, chance to well. finally bring an end to those meddling fools for good. All right, is that it? Oh, it's Judge Yu here as well. I must well take him out. We have to hurry to intercept them. I'm so glad I didn't do a missile attack there. What's that? Do I want what? I'd love a cup of tea, man. Absolutely love one. <laughs> Why did these bad countries huh? Continue to struggle? All right, then. Cool. <laughs> they are only prolonging the inevitable. We defeated a massive force of rain. I think, like, I think you guys as black can actually see now. I've got to the point of where I just do not give a damn about professionalism. I don't care if that interrupts. That interrupts. <laughs> that's, that's family right there. That's priority, man. That is priority. That should be priority for everyone. Oh, man. Well, providing, you know, you've, you've got, like, a good relationship. Yeah, like, with your family. I do know there's people out there that don't really have good relationships. They're quite rocky with their family and things like that. <laughs> but anyways, I think that's that. We did it. We managed to defend our homeland. Mm -hmm. My lord, the Wei army has withdrawn completely from the battlefield. Victory is ours! We held them off and drove them from our home. Yeah, that fire was quite a sight. I think it's safe to say I was the true hero of this <laughs> battle. Not with that area one, mate. <laughs> Don't be stupid. My efforts clearly stood head and shoulders above everybody else. Wait. This victory wouldn't have been possible without my brilliant strategy. <laughs> Don't worry, Master Shusheng. Everybody knows what you did for us. Although, it would be nice if I too could have a little recognition for my country. Lujun sounds like that stuffy kid in school, you know, that's got that You're nasal problem. You're aware of how vital you were to our success, Lun Shun. Indeed, this victory was the result of everything. Well, that's cold. Work. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. Well, you're in the womb now. I said you're in the womb now. Like the sound of that. The sun shines on U once again. Ah? I feel it's No, thank you. Cuz I've still got the sushi you got me. It's diabetes, remember? Well, this should help ease the spirits of those who died for our cause. I haven't even started it. Right. Gan Ming. What's wrong, Master Sun Chuen? You haven't said a word. My lord. Lord Sun Chuen. Oh, Didums, he's crying. Indeed. I guess I was. I realized that the thing I desired most of all this time was not the land, but something much more profound. <laughs> I'm not even gonna press anything because I got a feeling it's gonna just go black screen and then get on to the next chapter. Gold, there you go. Save progress. I would love to. Oh man. That was a juicy chapter. Didn't really enjoy the yielding like chapter or segment, whatever you want to call it. I, I yeah, I didn't really enjoy that. And not because I failed. I'm not that salty people. <laughs> I mean, it, it didn't make no sense what was going on. Like, yeah, look, yeah, look, you can clearly see the, like, the gate won't open. Hold After on, let's watch this. Liu Bei, his son Liu Chan becomes emperor. Zhuge Liang and the other ministers support him and make plans to restore the country to its former strength. 
After repelling the Wei invasion, they also succeed in conquering the troublesome. Nanjiang I want to do a playthrough with Ju Rong Elsewhere, because that's that's going to be stuff we haven't seen. repels the Shu attack. Should be different. Ealing. When Zhuge Liang once more proposes an alliance, they accept. All of this was simply to oppose Wei, who continued to seek to conquer the entire land. While all this had been happening, Wei had focused their efforts on domestic affairs and increased their own strength in order to be ready for the upcoming showdown with Wu and Shu. Cool. Yeah, I think... I would guess Zhu Rong and Ming Huo would have one chapter. That's what I would guess. So yeah, they could work out for a playthrough because that's, that's, that's probably about an hour, maybe, worth of content, which isn't Excuse taking the piss. Me, <laughs> Hello, my lord. Please, make yourself comfortable. In the rain, yeah? <laughs> you look to be rather calm. <laughs> that shit, man. I'll, I'll, I'll be taking really? cover right around now. I hadn't noticed. I suppose I've been lost in my thoughts <sighs> lately. Couldn't do it. Perhaps you have been trying too hard to be more like Cao Cao? For the sake of protecting Wu, for the sake of becoming stronger, be more like Cao Cao. <laughs> yes, maybe you're right. I was afraid that I was too weak and sentimental to protect everybody. And so, I sought out to amass even more power. The power to one day rule the land. However, that was not what my heart truly desired. Handong, is your illness... Oh god, he's ill as well me? now. Uh. Maybe if I was one of the great immortal monks, I could remain by your side a bit longer. How old would he be around this point anyway? Jesus, what, back, maybe in his 60s maybe? Through a lot together. Maybe? I don't know. I am proud to have served as your vassal, my lord. You can't leave us yet, Handam. We still need you. Especially those without talent, like myself. My lord, I am the one without oh my talent. God. Not you. So melodramatic. I did not have the presence of Master Cheng Pu, or the physical might of Wang Gai. I can't even count the number of times I wished I was more like them. However, I cannot be more like somebody else. In the end, I can only be myself. In fact, I no longer wish where, to be Where did they dig up this personality trait from? I don't, I don't get it. I and the time I spent with my friends. Wait, is there something documented in like the annals of history that state what his personality was like? My Lord, or was this just some random design choice? You are not your father, nor Master Sun Tzu, nor Cao Cao. You may have your flaws and weaknesses, but you are a man driven by emotion. And you are our lord, Lord Sun Chuen. Hum -hum -hum. Get out there and do what you do best, for the sake of those of us that have fallen along the way. I need to rest What, he's just going to die there and then, yeah? I am proud. Of the life I have lived. Wouldn't you agree, Master Shang Pu? Huang Gai? Oh my god. Thank you, Kandong. <laughs> <laughs> and farewell. I can't, I can't anymore. Oh, I know it's meant to be like an emotional scene, yeah, but I, I can't. I just, I can't. <laughs> you know, like if, uh, the fact that they're just, you know, the uh, head dropping and it, oh, come on. However, the threat they present still remains. Cao Shou commands a large army in Shochun, and they are simply waiting for an opportunity to invade us. Hmm. Yes. But a failed assault could lead to a repeat of Puffet. Lushun, how would you deal with the situation? Like when we drove Shu from Ealing? 
We should lure the enemy deep into U and then divide and conquer their forces. I am then. It's the safe play. It's all right. I'll just stretch over. However, we still need a way to lure them in. <laughs> Do you remember, Lucian, when Huang Gai pretended to defect to Wei and led us to victory at Chibi? Yes. Got you saw some of this stuff. Worked brilliantly. <laughs> I heard that it was proposed by Master Zhou Yu. Well, we could ask the Poyang governor, Zhou Fang, to pretend to defect to Wei. Oh, is this the last chapter? Meanwhile, the, sh uh, we'll the Zhou Fang until false defection comes to take Poyang and spring an ambush once he does. I see. That is a brilliant plan, my lord. <laughs> I did not come up with it. It is an idea born from all those that have served U over the years. Where'd you go shopping? Yes, I see what you mean. Tell me later. It is unfortunate that we have lost many talented officers like Master Han Dong. He lived a full life. I'm sure if he were here now, he'd be telling Master Huang Gai how much he stood out in the last battle. Yes. I suppose so. It is up to us to fight on. Oh man. So as not to bring shame to those that are watching over us from above. Let's go, everyone. The threat of the Wei army has been hanging over our head for far too long. However, we must be sure that we approach this battle carefully. I do not want to lose any more of you to the chaos. Is that it? What is going on? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I'm leaving this in. I am so leaving this in. Like, I think in terms of all my episodes, this has probably been the glitchiest one. It was the Lube Stone Sentinel Maze thing. Then there's this. Like, what is this? This is like clearly locked into a cutscene. <laughs> Can I, can I at least skip it? Thank God. Oh my God. That's madness. What is that? What is that? <laughs> this battle is not for the land. Or to stop any one individual. No. What is that? We fight against Wei. <laughs> what is that? Protect us all. <laughs> is that the light? Oh my God. Has it been there the whole time? No, surely not. Have I actually got to do this in the middle of a playthrough? Oh my god, give me one second people, one second. It's the, like the sun has gone down and it's kind of messed up the lighting of the green screen. That's, that's what that was. I mean, I don't know how long it's been there because I haven't been paying attention to the screen. But if it's been there if, like for a long time, I'm sorry if it uh, spoiled your experience. But then again, my nan just came in and that's potentially spoiled, like, spoiling the experience as well. Um, but yeah, I actually didn't even know that was a thing. So yeah, sorry about that. It's really annoying. I got all the light right, right, right. So getting the right lighting, and then like the sun is going down here right now. It's like what is it, 4:32 in the afternoon, and like the sun is kind of it's like setting, and um, yeah, it kind of messed up my lighting. But anyway, so let's, let's just do this. Let's just get on with this battle of shooting. I just, I just, I just want to get this over with. This is probably my like lowest quality episode. Um, which is a shame because it's the last one, but I just want to get it over with people. I just really want to just get it over with and drink some tea while I'm like sitting there watching cutscenes as well. Ah, oh, beautiful. Absolutely flipping beautiful. Is everybody clear on the details of our plan? I wonder how long that was there for though. Yes, Joe Feng will pretend to surrender in order to lure the Wei army out into the open. And then we will strike swiftly and decisively. The roar of our assault will tear through the sky like thunder. Oh my God! What is up with all the rain? The rest of the enemy ranks will crumble. However, Sima E is in the way camp. He will do everything he can to prevent our victory. Yes. Without Cao Pi at its helm, Sima E has taken over as the effective ruler of Wei. 
I hear he is a brilliant strategist. We will need to use the utmost caution to prevent him from seeing through our plan. Don't worry about it, Lushun. We've assembled a pretty good team here. We'll have no problem convincing the way. I'm sorry, but that is you wrong. Farce. Does not look like the one from Dice to Wars 8. He really don't. He's gone under some proper reconstruction. Anyways, uh, what are we doing? Whoops, uh, let's do this mission first. Sorry, I'm just looking at the screen right now. Just like to double check if there's no green screen inconsistencies because that's that's actually bugged me. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's really really annoyed me. It was this tiny, you know, little like yeah, it was like a little kind of you know. How do I explain it? It's like a rectangle of light, and it was just beaming through straight onto the green screen. So annoying. So flipping annoying. Um, what was I gonna say about uh, something I was gonna say earlier that I've just been reminded of actually. Ah, I remember now. I remember. Okay, so after they decluttered the room and you know, um, they found all those lovely retro games. Uh, they basically, Nan said to me, "Look, look. I don't, I don't use the loft. Um, loft is like an attic, right? So I was like, okay, where are you going with this? And she said to me, well, if you want, you can turn it into a games room. Now this is a studio room that I'm in right now. So I'm gonna turn that motherfucker into a flipping games room. I'm gonna get a sofa up there, TV, literally just decorated with canvases and whatnot. And there's no, there's no lighting issues up there either. No lighting, because it's in the roof. No lighting issues. Gonna get a green screen up there. Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Nothing's gonna come to fruition though for a, a, a very long time. It's still early days, but it's nice to know that I can put the plan on the table and just basically be like, yo, I'm going to get to this eventually. So yeah, it's nice. Anyways, we need to assist the traitor that was captured by Wang Ling. Okay. This this is kind of like where it... How do I explain it? This is where it transitions more from the Three Kingdoms going into the Jin. And if I'm being honest with you, I, I like a couple of the Jin characters like Sima Zhao and Wang Yuanji. Um, a few others I can't remember to name right now. But overall, the... Oval Jin storyline is boring. I find it incredible. Well, some, yeah, like probably like it, but me personally, I just find it incredibly boring. <laughs> At that point, I feel like all the relevant heroes, if you want to call them that, that that made an impact, uh, you know, that made the story as interesting as what it is, um, they're all dead by that point. There's a few here and there, but it's, I don't know, I feel like they're missing something, so. Yeah, it, it kind of gets a bit boring after that. I think I see Okay, he's apparently seen them. Uh, oh my god, all this castle navigation. It's long. Let's go. Somewhere over here. So annoying. <coughs> See outside the castle. Well, that's really annoying, isn't it? Whoops. There we go, he's wangling. So you've come to save your friend, have you? Right, he's taken care of. Both of you up together. Yeah, like I like the political side of the three kingdoms, but I feel like that that's that's why um I I don't really like the Jin Dynasty timeline that much because it's it's Just more political than it is um warfare. Don't get me wrong, yes they went to war, but the, the three kingdoms they, they were at each other's throats non stop. That's that's like where it's it sounds really bad, doesn't it? But that's where it gets interesting. Right, we are done with that mission. So we did that mission. Let's do this mission. Oh man, this episode's a disaster. It's rush hour. The trains are going by. Nan's walking in. Green screens getting messed up. Honestly. <laughs> Anyways, I hope my personality is enough 
you know, for everyone to look past the, you know, the bullshit and, uh, you know, just get you through the episodes. I hope. Yeah. I gave up, like, I would... Okay, I'm going to get philosophical now. I'm going to get extremely philosophical, right, on the word perfectionism okay it's just my opinion right if you oppose it that's obviously your opinion yeah i'm not gonna try to proselytize you you know what i'm trying to say right so anyways the word opinion when i was growing up right i always believed in doing things you know as a perfectionist um and later on in life as in like now i'd say when my children were born i realized this perfectionism it's a disease it's, it's a straight up disease in the mind because it it limits you it it will like make you how do I explain this? If I use myself as an example, yeah, I would always question my decisions in life. Question and upload, right? Because of perfectionism. Is it good enough? You know, does it fit, you know, the perfectionism kind of image, yeah? And it, it does hold you back. And believe it or not, Bruce Lee himself actually said, uh, and I've read it so many times, but I just never really registered it in my head about, um, what was it that he said? Do you know what? I don't want to butcher the saying, I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to go on Google right now and I'm going to attempt to get up Bruce Lee on perfectionism. Where is it? Bruce Lee on perfectionism. Okay. <coughs> Here we go. Right, what does he say? Beating perfectionism to overcome... Right. Is that the one? Yeah, so it's basically philosophy on self-actualization and beating perfectionism to overcome procrastination and things like that uh yeah it's to me it's just um it's about executing and there's a canvas there that literally says knowing is not enough we must apply willing is not enough we must do and if you have perfectionism mixed up with that right there you're not going to be able to see things through that's that's what i have personally learned some people might live and die by perfectionism but for me personally it just does not work out it it, it like holds me back it limits me because i constantly question myself so yeah that is a trait i made a very conscious effort to just eradicate completely just get rid of out of my system because i didn't want it anymore just didn't want it all right, we have to escort this guy. Okay, let's jump on the boat. Yeah, that's my uh, philosophy on <laughs> perfectionism. <laughs> What's funny as well is there's an article literally here that says Bruce Lee <laughs> was a perfectionist. Yeah, I think this person needs to go and do research because <laughs> he wasn't a perfectionist. He really wasn't. But there's this thing in this world called Bruce Politation, and I ain't getting involved with that. <laughs> That, that is a very, very uh, toxic group of people that literally will not have a bad word said about Bruce Lee. You know, they will not have a bad word said about him. Like, critique is not up for discussion where Bruce Lee is concerned, where Bruce Politation is concerned. No, thank you. I'm not a part of that. But, yeah. Yeah. Because, like, I remember watching documentaries, and I've got this ginormous book, and it literally talks about how... Oh, just watch this. Sake. <laughs> when Bruce Lee is more relevant than this. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. It talks about how perfectionism prohibits your ability. It literally, like, oh, let me go over there. Yeah, it basically prohibits your ability to learn. Because you're going to be so fixated on doing that one thing that all the other things you're just kind of neglecting. So the fact that that person, I don't know who that person is, but they wrote an article basically saying Bruce Lee was a perfectionist, just no. Just really, really no. Hmm. How would you even explain that? Because his Jit Kune Do, he didn't, like, it was about freedom of expression. So saying he wanted to perfect Jit Kune Do goes against freedom of expression. So, yeah, again, that, that article needs to be removed. It's actually the second one down as well. Sorry, is it the second one down? Yes, it's the second second topic down. Just type in Bruce Lee on perfectionism and you'll find it straight away. I cannot believe that person wrote that article. <laughs> Yahoo! Oh, really? Hmm. Who do I have to beat to get this guy to move? I have to go on all these ships. Whoa, what was that? Some triple jump. 
Should move after this. Should move. He's hoping. But is there another officer over there? Ah, oh, there's another boat over there. Damn it. Okay, let's go over there. I don't know if there's an officer on it though. Am I missing something? There's no one here. Don't know what's going on, people. No idea what's going on. Oh, more glitchy shit dragging out the episode. Hmm. Maybe there's something blocking this path. Let's 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 go here. <coughs> Should have done them in order, really, shouldn't I? Oh well. Lovely, 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 lovely. There's a famous calligrapher here. He can probably copy Lord Joe Feng's hand. I want to have fake surrender orders made, but. So you want I... money from me? Is that what you're asking? Okay, no, you must want to ask the calligrapher. All right, let's do that then. Documents to fool the enemy will be hard to make. This will cost you. Understand? <laughs> His voice. God damn, it's a good thing I'm almost a millionaire in this game. Yes. As a matter of fact, how much money do I have? Nice. Top right corner. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go back to him. He'll write the letter. Perfect. Then I'll take it to Lord Joe. Cool. That's that mission complete. Now let's uh, try and work out what the hell is going on with Joe Fang because we we took out everyone on the boat, so I have no idea why he's not moving. No idea. I think I think he's come back to the shore as well. That's really strange. Where's the horse? There you go. Success. I'm proud of this achievement. Oh, okay, where you at? Where you at? Hmm, this is really strange. It's not giving me how many meters I am away. Where exactly is this? Okay. Alright. I think I just saw a bunch of boats appear. So he's here, but he just refuses to move. Well, that's not good, is it? That's just not good. And this is going to drag out the episode even more. I'm, I'm trying to work out why he's not moving. Is it just typical dinosaurs now? Glitching, you know, flipping bullshit? I can't, I can't work it out. Oh, my God. Should we just sleep? <laughs> no, seriously. This is, this is taking the piss, though. Screw it, I can't be bothered with that. Let's just go and take out this guy. Let's ruin the episode, but oh well. Do not fear the enemy's advance. Our formation is solid. Now yeah, that's quite upsetting. Because that's actually quite an interesting scene to see where Joel Fang basically deceives Sao Ju. Um, yeah, and then Salju starts sucking up to people as well, in way, because he's too, like, trusting, too gullible. But yeah, oh well, Dinosaur is 9, little glitch fest. Thank you for spoiling that for me. It's 
just finish that. Yeah. I'll be quiet. I don't care about you. I hope you can forgive this blunder. Fuck off. Really? Shashun has no fallen. Way. This victory is all due to Ooh's unbreakable bond of unity. This officer bows before the might of the Soon family. Oh, Zhangchun I was over there as well. Mm -hmm. My lord. The Wei army is on the verge of collapse. We have achieved total victory in the name of Wu. Yes, we have not celebrated a victory like this since Chibi. Excellent work, Lu Xun. The threat from Wei has been eliminated. Everyone, let me hear your voices call out our victory. That was quite a show we put on. I always knew we'd be excellent actors. Even Master Huang Gai had to have been impressed with that performance. <laughs> yes. The confusion shown by the enemy was as if they were stumbling around, lost in the night. Oh. I'm getting some serious raccoon vibes from Ding Feng right now. <laughs> Lu Xun, you, <laughs> you do well. We're the stars of this battle. Tell me, what would you like as a reward? A reward? Actually, there is one thing I would like to ask for. Name it, and it shall be yours. My lord, well... Oh, wow. I would like for you to consider being named Emperor of U. Emperor of U. The Han is all but gone, with all Imperial functions transferred to Wei. Furthermore, Liu Chen of Shu has already been named Shu Emperor. Of the Three Kingdoms, who is the only one without an emperor? This is our opportunity to name you emperor and create a new dynasty that will last for generations. If you become emperor, it will bring in a new era for U. That is the wish of all of us here, as well as all that have come before us. The land is still in chaos, so I know this is all rather sudden to you. However, is no, that blood on his hand? That's not it. I understand. <coughs> I really reason. swear that was blood on his hand. I shall take the mantle of emperor. My lord. Are you sure about this, my lord? I think we still have a long way to go before we can think about ruling the land. It has long been my goal to unite this chaotic land in peace. I always thought that it was in order to protect the people of U. However, I now know that the peace I sought for you does not lie within the land itself. There is all of you, and there is the land. However, I realized that you are what's most important to me. It took a while, but I finally realized that one simple truth. If everybody wishes for me to become emperor, then it will be my honor to do so. My lord, you... Yes, from this day forth, I shall be emperor of U. Send messengers to Wei and Shu immediately. <laughs> Declaration. Tell them that a new age of U has dawned in the land of Zhangdong. Yes. Well... That was a nice little cut of team, nice little cut scene to go with it as well. Loading times. About 10 seconds or so. Well, on a original PS4, I don't really know about Pro or PC or anything Messenger like that. No Shoot. idea. Or Xbox Thank for that matter. Coming all this way. It is an honor to see you, Lord Sun Xuan. I hope our visit finds you in good health and spirits. It is the desire of our Lord that the French... The music that's on right now just should not be on. Strong as ever. I am pleased to hear it. Please give my regards to Master Liu Chun. Now, I hear that he has requests to make of us. Yes, 
We are about to set out on a military campaign. The Bob of Shoe. <laughs> we plan to attack Wei and retake the Han territory, which is rightfully ours. Therefore, we would like to ask for Wu's assistance in attacking Puffei. Puffei. I remember when Wu and Shu once attacked Wei from the east and west. The battle was fought at Puffei. We were dealt a painful defeat in that battle. Recalling that defeat makes it difficult to make such a move again. By the way, I would like to know, how is your lord's wife, Sun Shang Shang, doing? Oh, wow. Yes, she is both in good health and spirits. I see. I'm happy to hear it. I have considered your request. Please tell Master Liu Chen that we shall honor our alliance and attack Wei alongside you. Thank you, Lord Sun Chuen. I'm, I'm surprised after Liu Bei died, she just didn't return to Wu. Really, really shocked about Everyone, that. <clears throat> like I just mentioned, we will support Shu's northern campaign and attack Wei. My Lord, Wei has built a new castle at Pofei, which puts additional pressure on our forces. If we take down the castle, it will enable us to secure an attack route into the heart of Wei territory. Very well. We shall proceed as you suggest, Lu Xu. You know, Wei built New Puffet Castle for just this very occasion. I don't think it's going to be that easy to capture it. We do not need to capture it. Master Sun Twen, what are you saying? It's nothing. I merely wish to say that even the act of blunting Wei's power will help protect Yu to an extent. Ah, so that's what you meant. That's a relief. Well, as a servant of the Wu Emperor, I shall do whatever I can to help. We shall defeat Wei and rule the land. We've been waiting for this day for a long time. Right, Jotai? Lord Sun Chuen? Hmm. What's he thinking of? I wonder what he's thinking of. Men Chong is in charge of protecting the castle. He is well versed in the art of defense. However, we will not let that stop us from adding to our territory. That's the spirit, Lu Xun. Right now, my heart is burning brightly like a raging <laughs> inferno. That was so random. Hey, Ding Feng, stop stealing my lines. Oh my god. I have a feeling I've seen this before. Yeah, I remember Master Han Dong and Master Huang Gai saying the same <laughs> thing. We have lost many friends to the chaos. Let us take to the battlefield and put forth an effort that they will be proud of. Oops. Yes, I agree. I want us to focus on our victory and ensure that everyone returns home safely. Lord Sun Chuen, can I ask you something? What is it, Lian Xu? When you said we do not need to capture New Perfect Castle, what did you really Why is she moving like that? Actually, I have been thinking about that too, my lord. We cannot defeat Wei without taking down their base at New Perfect Castle. Don't tell me we're going to have to team up with Wei again to invade Shu. No. Forgive me. I did not mean to trouble you all in such a manner. I was just thinking about something. I was wondering, what will become of Wu in the future? Should we continue fighting wars in an effort to one day rule the land? Or should we honor our alliance with Shu and look to keep Wei in check so that we are three kingdoms Never gonna living happen. in harmony? The three kingdoms living in harmony? I have inherited the kingdom of Wu from my father and the dream to unite the land from my brother. I have been obsessed with both of these goals for quite some time. But now I'm thinking clearly and approaching them with an open mind. My destiny is to protect the family of U. Everything else pales in comparison. Therefore, I have decided that we will attack New Puffet Castle. Even if it does not fall, it will help minimize the force Wei can bring to bear against us. 
In the end, your only goal is to protect U and do what is best for us all. Yes. I believe protecting U from its enemies is the best course of action. Is it just me or are they really dragging this dialogue scene on? It's not just me, is it? Seriously. I'm sorry. Just get on with it, man. Even still, you all chose to side with me, like family. When you put it like that, there's nothing. And that's exactly how it should be. All you need to do is say, we're attacking New Hefei Castle. Cool, let's go. Done. Simple. We are servants of U. We are prepared to follow your orders, no matter where they might lead. I shall cut open a path for our lord. With sharpened spear and hardened shield, we must use all our might to support our lord's ambition. I will also be by your side, now and forevermore. My lord, I shall serve you even at the cost of my life, if need be. Thank you. However, if I am to be fighting, it will always be in the name of victory and to unite the land under your rule. I trust that is acceptable? Of course, Lu Xun. That will also serve to aid not only me, but the people of U as well. Go out there and do what you do That's best. That's all you needed to say. All you needed case, to say. I shall give everything I have to take down New Puffet Castle. Father. Brother. I have decided to follow my own path. I hope that you will watch over me. No, nah, they're dragging this scene out. Lord Sun Chuan, we are ready to march nah. our orders. Let's go. We shall attack way they at New Puffet Castle. Dragged and that out. A bright and prosperous future for U. Literally, all he needed to say was we needed to attack New Hefe Castle. Are you being serious right now? More more dialogue? Begins anew with this battle. Father. Oh brother. Please. Watch over. This is what I mean by burn out. I hate talking like this because you can you like you can see that I've passed like I've passed the point of excitement. The excitement has worn off and it's just like hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I just wanna, you know, play the game. No, oh, they, they they literally took the piss with that that tiny little dialogue scene right there. They took the piss. It was too long. It was way too long for my liking. And like they like they kept repeating themselves as well. They must have said the same thing three times, but just in like different mannerisms. And it's just like you just said that. You just said that as well. <laughs> it's like the equivalent of a an anime fillet episode. They just padded it up. Pure padding. Where are we going? Uh, all right. Might as well do this mission over here quickly. Get out of the way. Now I'm going to take a long break from Danny Stories after this as well. Long break, people. Long break. Now's our chance to attack the village. Let's yeah, go, long break. As I said, I might, like... Un right, so I might quickly um, run through Pang Tong's story because he's probably got one or two chapters. Then I'm going to do Lu Bu and probably Ju Rong. Upload those throughout the course of the week and I'm, I'm, I'm done for now. For now because I'm totally burnt out on this game. I think I've like... How many hours have I spent on this game? One second. 165 hours, 53 minutes. Five, like Roughly around five of those hours were... Um, I would I would say sitting idle when I was doing things on my computer or talking on the phone or whatever, but still it stands. 160 hours into the game and I'm I'm, I'm burnt out, I'm totally burnt out. All right, let's do this mission here. Prevent the fire attack. Oh, I've been sitting in this chair too long. I promised I would never do these long episodes again. <laughs> stretching out, man, stretching out. It looks like the village is safe again. I must head for New Puffet Castle myself. I shall make my family proud. My lord, you did that. It's like that of a tiger on the battlefield. Mm, mm, mm. That's what I mean. My killer instinct was gone. <laughs> oh man, I just I don't care about these peasants. I just don't. Can I not just use my grappling hook here? Okay, that was strange. <laughs> you must 
<laughs> an U-raid. Oh, wow. What's that? That's a little... I don't know, is that like an oil symbol thing on the, on the map? I ain't got a clue what that is. I think it might be oil. Yeah, just a quick comment in on uh, the whole oil thing as well. I don't see the point of them because they're like the AI doesn't really move that much, and most of the pots are all stationed in like very spacious locations where there's nothing next to the AI. And you know it's kind of stupid having to lure them into the pot, especially when you can shoot the pot not even a f like one foot away from yourself, and it just does no damage to you whatsoever. That's yeah, that's kind of stupid. Yeah, I told you there was going to be lots of little pickings, you know, <laughs> in this episode because um. Yeah, when when you like play something like a lot, you, like the cracks, they really, really, really start to show. There's the obvious cracks you can see from the get-go. But look, look, come on, come on, come on. This is stupid, seriously. And look, oh my God, really? What's what's the point of all the planning if look? Come on, man. That's just stupid, seriously. You saw that, right? I had a clear, you know, cl clear sight. Of that oil pot, I shoot it, and apparently there's some invisible object in the way. Come on, seriously. And that's the like the clear cracks. Oh wow, this episode is glitch heaven. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I didn't want it to go down this way. I wish I could have finished this uh, Sun Chuan campaign on a high note, but yeah, too much has gone on in this episode. Way too much. Cutscenes glitching out, gates not opening when they're supposed to open. Uh, what do you call it? Um, shooting oil pots and <laughs> them just like just not registering. Apparently, there's like an invisible wall in the way. Characters blending in with the environments. You can't talk to them properly. Yeah, it's too much, too much, too much to forgive. Let's just say that. funny as well because most of the things I'm complaining about in this game um, I don't really see a lot of people complaining about it that like the thing I'm seeing in media or like loads of people doing videos on is like the dubs I don't care about the language I'll put it in English Chinese Japanese whatever it, 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 like, that doesn't bother me that doesn't affect like how do I explain it? it doesn't affect my overall enjoyment of the game it's like little gameplay things that affect my enjoyment of the game you know, like things not working like when they're supposed to work. That's what affects me. I mean, did you not see the flipping games I, I grew up on? Do you really think at this point in my life I give a damn about graphics? Graphics are literally the cherry on the top, people. You know, I can eat that cake without the cherry on the top. And I'm going to still enjoy that cake. I don't need graphics, man. Graphics are just cherry. Cherry, cherry, cherry. Seriously. I, I guarantee I take all those old consoles home. I plug them in. You know, I sit there with my kids, I 100% guarantee graphics are not even going to come to my mind. I'm just going to sit there and just enjoy the gameplay. Oh, man. It's this new generation, man. Well, they're not that guilty of it. There's like some people from my generation that prioritize graphics as well. But it is mainly the new generation because, to be fair, that's what they've grown up with. You can't even blame them for that. You know, if they're born into like a specific timeline when, uh, you know, like graphics are being prioritized, then that's... You know the norm that, that they're kind of used to um yeah but like if you're like one of the old retro gamers graphics are the least of your worries <laughs> as i said it's nice to have them but you, you ain't gonna give a damn about them it's just complimentary really isn't it <laughs> anyways what are we doing here 
Mm. Don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, what are we doing here? Who am I meant to be fighting? I can't see them. Here we go. Yeah! Oh, God. Get on with it. Yahoo! Okay, that's that. Next, this one. Do 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 do. Thank you so much. Now I'll be able to carry out my lord's order. We are constructing siege weapons in preparation for an attack. Ten See, look. Where you at, my friend? All right, repel the wave forces. Okay, I'll forgive you. I thought it was. Meant to be like an NPC that I had to talk to. Never! That should be complete. I don't see anyone. Cool. I can teleport out of here now. Right. Thank you so much. I knew you would come. Here's the mission. All the way over here, okay? You I shall make my family proud. Amazing. Oh, we gotta go across the river, haven't we? Um See, I hate when it does this. Why is it teleporting me across the river when it should have teleported me here and then I could have just run straight? You know how long it would take to swim like from that side of the river to the next? There's no shipyard, boatyard, whatever you want to call it. It's so much quicker to do it from here. Proud. Yeah. See, that's another fine example of being burnt out on something. When like, you get burnt out on something, you, you tend to start complaining more. I don't like complaining. <laughs> I consider myself a pretty like balanced person where positivity and negativity is concerned, but when it starts to lean more to the negativity side, as in complaining, 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 I'm just like, oh man, it's time to just switch it off. <laughs> time to switch it off, but yeah, I've got to see this playthrough through. Have to see it through. Just want to conclude it on my channel, and then whatever gets uploaded after is kind of like that cherry on the top is complimentary to you guys. <laughs> All right, uh, what do we got to do here? Xin Chan Ying, where's she at? I can't see her. She, oh, yeah, she is. Okay. That's, that's the other thing as well. When they're supposed to appear, there's like, been a few times where I go to walk forward, and I'm like, why can't I walk forward? Why is there an invisible wall in my way? And it's a character. It's a character that hasn't, like, been loaded up here. Sure, sure. Hmm. Okay, that's done. Secure reinforcements. Boom, 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 boom. Right, where are we going now? This should be the last uh, part as well. Part of the entire chapter. And then we get this Sun Chuan ending. Oops. I need to head to Shi Ting to complete my plans. Will you protect me on the way? Oh no. More babysitting. Right. Where you going? Well, come on then. Here we go. Alright, let's let's go ahead, because there's probably people ahead. Yes, there is. Pull out the spear. Right. Yeah! That was easy. <laughs> oh, this is long. <laughs> look how far that is and look how slow he's walking. Let me march ahead and see if there's anyone up ahead. 
Oh, Mahogany level 99. Don't let them call in reinforcements. They mustn't reach cheating. I've actually tested the game out on Chaos Mode with Sunshine. It's it's really not that hard. The previous dinosaurs games are a lot harder on the harder difficulties. Right, is he still moving or is he stopped moving? Because I'm not escorting him. There we go. Now he's moving. <coughs> I don't think he actually has to walk into the car, so I think he can just like stand outside and it should complete. What's he doing? Well, oh, this is fun. This is, like, <laughs> it's incredibly engaging. <laughs> Anyone outside? Nope. Are you gonna move? You see, this is why when I read, you know, they're, they're entitled to their opinion, of course, yeah, but when I read people say they enjoy babysitting missions, I don't understand how you can enjoy these missions. If the AI was like 100% you know, successful in consistently doing what it's supposed to do, I would put my hands up and I'd be like, yes, I agree with you. But most games that have like these stupid babysitting missions, they just don't, they just, they're executed poorly. Very, very poorly. Just don't move properly, they take ages to move. Maybe it's my impatience, I don't know, but I hate these missions. I hate them in Son of Tomorrow. I hate them in this game. I don't throw the term hate around that often, but yeah, I hate them. I hate babysitting missions with a passion. They're probably my number one thing in video games I hate, like I despise. <coughs> right, now I've had my little hate speech. <laughs> Let's go to uh, Nuju Garrison and defeat Jarqui. I liked his design in uh, Dynasty Tactics 2. I thought he had a really, really sweet design in that game. Actually, as a matter of fact, the avatars that, oh my god, you see, look, invisible walls, oh, for God's sake. Yeah, so the designs in Dynasty Tactics 2, the avatars, I actually really like their designs. Really, really cool. Games like Tactics 2 and um, Kesson, like 1, 2, and 3, I really want them to make a strong comeback. They like tried with Dynasty Rose Godseekers, but I don't know, man, I just feel like the presence of that game wasn't, wasn't enough. Also, as well, the marketing isn't very good, if I'm being honest with you. Yeah, but then again, how do you even market a game like that, you know? How do you market a game like Godseekers to pull in an audience? How do you even do that? You know, it's not the most, um... Well, first and foremost, you have to be a fan of the whole, like, Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Or, like, the characters, at least. Um, because, yeah, how are you going to pull in, you know, another part of a demographic when it's, you know, a story that they might not be interested in. <coughs> so it's a tough thing. Tough thing to do. Uh, we defeat Jaffe. We can... Alright, okay. You still locking my controls? Alright, good. <laughs> Alright, escort the messenger. Another babysitting mission? Alright, we'll come to that later. Preventing troop deployment. Let's do this one. Oh. I'm gonna take a walk after this. Take a nice little walk. I shall make my family proud. Wait, what did that say? The map needs to obtain the requested items and give them to the engineer. He's hoping. He's hoping I have the items already. Let's go inside here. Whack it left. You are a true warrior of the three kingdoms. No doubt about it. Why is he hiding? Shh. I'm a U agent. I'm gathering Ooh, this information. This is interesting. Here. Reinforcements are sent out from here. Disrupting that flow is a top priority. If I had a key to the barracks, I could start some trouble. Can you help me? Yes, I will. Sounds like an interesting side if mission. If look out, spot you. This is over. There are fewer men posted at night. So what do I need to do? 
All right, we're going stealth mode. Why, why do I like these stealth missions so much? All right, let's do this. Tippity toe. Let us go slow. Hmm, okay. I don't trust this bow. What was that? What did I just hear? The lookouts are on high alert. Okay. Just in case. Is, is there a guy literally to the right of me? There is. Whoa. I can actually see him through the walls. Ah. Is this going to hit him? Good. I thought it was going to do that stupid little glitch thing on the wall. Get my weapon at. Now what? Are you being serious right now? This item could not be obtained. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Um <coughs> what what item is it? I don't even know what item it is. See, they didn't even factor this in. They should have made this a quest item, a key item, se like separate to your inventory. Because this is like, l like, look, I can't even see what the item is. It won't even let me see what the item is to basically go into my inventory so I can dispose of one and then pick this one back up. It's not, oh, for God's sake. Let me see something. Doesn't tell me, doesn't tell me the item. Oh, that's another um, one to add to this playthrough for glitchy, stupid nonsense. You know, I could... Like, I, can't, I can't even... Oh my god, you actually can't even... You can't get rid of stuff. Well, people. That was a tremendous waste of time, wasn't it? <laughs> Flipping hell. Oh, man, I don't mean to, you know, like, slate the game so hard, but... That was poor. Poor. Like... I can... Right, so you can see I can go back to the guy, right? You can see that, can't you, yeah? But it won't let me pick the item up. It didn't even notify me. It didn't even say, yo, you've picked this item up. Now return it to the guy. Look. It literally still says, look, look the status of the thing that says preventing troop deployment. That did not change. It still says, look, obtain the requested items. So I'm going to run back to this guy. And I swear to God, if it lets me turn this in, that's another one to add to the stupidness of what they've done with this game. Alright. Oh my god. Thank you. Now I can start some trouble uh, with barracks. This yeah. Okay, that was a uh, that was shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it really was. Oh, it's it's such a shame as well because I like the game people. I really do. It's just when you play it a lot, as I said, like you can see the like the early cracks and things like that. But, but like, play it more, and then you start to notice a load of different things that you're just like you you yeah Success. like you rush this game, I'm you rushed it. Yeah, they rushed it hard, man. <coughs> ah well. Put it this way: before all the cracks started to show, I was happy with my experience, and I'm just gonna leave it like that got my platinum trophy and I'm just gonna leave it like that I'm gonna put it down to you had fun you know for the let's just say the first hundred or so hours anything after that yeah was was just a uh, fatigue or burnout <laughs> let's get these people out of the way let's call the messenger Is that a 
Put it this way though, the burnout that I feel with Dynasty Stories 9, it's, it's not as bad as the burnout that I had at Dynasty, sorry, at the end of Dynasty Stories 8XL. Because I put a lot more hours into that game, I think it might have been around 300 hours or something like that. Because the plat was actually a lot longer to get on that game. And by the end of it, I really, really just don't want to return to that game anytime soon. I don't, I don't hate it, I don't, I don't hate it at all, right? I just cannot see myself returning to that game until a very, very, very late date. Because I was sick of it. I was sick of the amount of grinding you had to do in it. You know, go through every single level perfectionately. And yeah, like I've already gone through that whole perfectionism thing. I don't like it. I don't like perfectionism. <coughs> Where did these people just come from? that suspicious messenger thank you for your aid we're carrying information about new Pafe castle mission complete mission complete there's a mountain Ooh. path to the north that will lead you behind the castle I shall that was another thing that glitched me out I think in episode 3 or 4, I was with Gan, Ning and someone else, and it told me to go behind where Hongzhi was, but it never registered. I went behind, up the mountain path, <coughs> approached from behind, or the side, I flanked him basically, didn't register, did not register. So I just had to go straight to the main guy. Yeah, There's a few inconsistency issues where getting things to register in this game is concerned. And there's a few issues where notifications are concerned as well. We shall defend this position. Anyways, let's take that you've done. Conclude this episode. Watch the ending. And yeah, because I don't, I don't want it to go on anymore. Because I feel like I'm just gonna get, get like really irritated at the game and start slating it. And I've had such a good time with it. I don't want to do that. I really, really just don't want to do that. We cannot let this opportunity escape us. This is our chance to take down New Buffet Castle! Maybe I can just go up here. Oh! <laughs> I imagine that! You get countered as soon as you get up there. Lord Tang Ying's Ram's unit has arrived on the battlefield. Reporting! The Ram's unit has. Okay, Munchal. My horse up here? No? Downstairs? Wow, appeared right in front of me. Oh, oh man, it's too late. I was going to do a big jump to try and get onto the roof. We will use a fire attack against the U forces at the main gate. Quickly, make the preparations before it's too late. One thing I will say though is uh, the complaint I've been reading. It's a very common complaint as well. Um, is that people are saying that you can run straight to the main boss? You can, of course you can. Yeah, but. What people have been arguing about, and I don't feel like they've been putting it into like the correct context, is that it's your choice to do that. If you consciously decide, yo, I'm going to run straight to the main boss, you, you can't fault the game for that. Because I've, I've been seeing things like where people are saying, um, oh, you know, like we're not getting to kill enough people and things like that. There, there are people on the map. There's, look, there's plenty of people in this castle that I can kill. But what I'm seeing is people are just running straight to the main boss. That's their prerogative. If that's what they choose to do, then that's their business. But you can't, you, like, you can't blame the game. Um, yeah, like for you running to the main boss, it just doesn't make any sense. It just really doesn't, because you've made that choice. <coughs> I mean, if the game took the option away from you from being able to run to the main boss, you'd probably complain about that as well. You know, so the game can't win. The game can't win. Only story is not, in my opinion, in in terms of public media. Or public relations uh, was destined to fail from the get-go. The public, it, like, they weren't ready for Dynasty Wars Nine. They weren't ready. Been able to hold <coughs> out until the reinforcements arrived. Where did my calculations go wrong? Report, Lord Sun Chuan. Bad news. A large wave force is closing in from the north. I mean, there's plenty of people. I don't know if I've mentioned it in a previous so playthrough, I might have, I'm not too sure, but when I was really, really playing the game, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about exploring every nook and cranny, I'm talking about, you know, like, literally, the way I played the game was like this, I would I would slaughter everyone outside of the castle, get my grappling hook, climb onto the wall, 
after I'm on the wall, I'd slaughter everyone around the castle wall, jump within the castle walls, and the, the boss would usually always be smack bang in the center of the castle. Don't go to him. Kill everyone outside, kill everyone on the wall, kill everyone within side the castle, but on the outside of, how do I explain it? The outskirt of within the castle, basically, yeah? Then go to the boss. And I was cut, literally finishing chapters with like eight, like, what? 8k, oh, not fucking, 8,000 KOs, 10,000 KOs. Anyways, I think this might be the ending. Yeah, so there's, there's plenty of people to kill. You just you just have to go and find them. You just gotta go and do it. Please forgive me. We were just so close. We almost had it. But still, we didn't quite reach it. If we had won this battle, we would have seen a land governed by Sunu. Lu Xun, what does Sun U really mean to you? Well, sir, it is the land where I've chosen to live. Then tell me, what exactly is the land? Well, that's... I see. Perhaps we've rushed things a bit too much. Huabei, Zhongwen, Yiling, Bashu. What we call the land is large and wide. But we never really talk about most of the land that surrounds us. But at least we know everything about Zhang Dong. <laughs> and everything about Sun Wu. If we had taken Pafei, our land would have grown. But more importantly to me, with this battle, we were able to lessen the threat to Sun Wu. My lord. It still amazes me that I can call myself the Emperor of U. Let's go home to our own land. As you wish. Is that the ending? That's pretty cool if it was. Sun Chuan emerged yes. victorious at the Battle of New Pafei Castle. Ah, good, good, good. However, Sun Chuan gave the order to withdraw without taking the castle. His main concern was not expanding his territory. He only wished for Wu and its people to remain free from harm. That was the one thing that would make Sun Chuan happy. I think we've still got an ending to see. Sun Chuan, Emperor of Wu. He looked beyond his numerous battles and hardships at what lay ahead. Here we go. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. At least they loaded in the end, right? <laughs> Oh, that's pretty cool. Father! Brother! Please, wait for me! Yo! Some pretty decent water graphics there. Or like the splash effect. Wait for me! Wait for me! Lord Sun Chuan. Still depending on others. Huh? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I can't keep following father and brother. That ends today. It is time for me to walk my own path with all of you. Whoa. Whoa. Finally glad it's over. You don't need to watch these credits, people. You don't. <laughs> Anyways, long ass playthrough. That is the entire Sun Chuan campaign on, uh, what do you call it, in Dynasty Wars 9. And 
yeah, if you've managed to watch all of those, I've said it before, I'll say it again, you're legends. You're literally legends. I mean, this episode's probably the worst in terms of quality because the amount of glitches that was happening, you know, like, just just everything, green screen, you know, just just absolutely everything. But as I said, I'm, I think my personality is enough to get you through the episode um, and be satisfied with it. But, um, yeah, just, I don't know what I'm going to do next. I don't know. I've already said I might do this, might do that, where, like, Pang Tong or Ju Rong is concerned. I'm burnt out, as I've already mentioned, numerous amounts of times in this playthrough. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I'll see you when I see you. Thank you for watching this long-ass playthrough. You know the deal. Stay humble and take care of yourselves.